Welcome back to 31 Days of Oscar here on TCM. I'm Dave Carger. Today we've been honoring nominees and winners in the Best Supporting Actress category. We just saw Josephine Hull reprising a role she originated on stage and winning an Oscar for it in the 1950 comedy Harvey. And up next is another actress in an Oscar-winning role that she also created on stage. The actress is Eileen Heckert, and the film is the 1972 adaptation of Butterflies Are Free. The story centers on an intelligent young blind man who's moved out of his mother's home and is trying to establish his independence. He finds a real friend in his next-door neighbor, a free-spirited young woman named Jill, who begins to fall in love with him. But their relationship is tested when his overbearing mother arrives on the scene. Butterflies Are Free began as a hit Broadway play in 1969, starring Keir DeLay, Blythe Danner as Jill, and Eileen Heckert as the mother. For the film version, the role of Jill went to Goldie Hawn, who stars here opposite Edward Albert, the son of Eddie Albert and the Mexican actress Margot. Eileen Heckert stayed on to reprise her role, which had earned her a Tony nomination, the third of her career. Heckert's performance in the film won her the Oscar for Best Supporting Actress, and it was her second time being nominated. Her first Oscar nomination came in 1956 for her memorable performance as Mrs. Daigle in The Bad Seed, which was also a role she had originated on stage. Eileen Heckert's remarkable career also earned her seven Primetime Emmy nominations, including two for her role as Aunt Flo on The Mary Tyler Moore Show. But despite her success on the big and small screens, Heckert always insisted the theater was her home. In 2000, her long and acclaimed career on Broadway earned her a special honorary Tony Award. Here she is in 1972, also with Paul Michael Glazer and Michael Warren in Butterflies Are Free. Butterflies Are Free earned three Academy Award nominations for Best Sound, Cinematography by Charles Lang, and for Eileen Heckert as Best Supporting Actress. Heckert won the award, her second time being nominated, but her only time winning. The film was also an important vehicle for 27-year-old Goldie Hawn, who had gotten her start on the popular TV show Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In. In 1969, she got her first major film role in the comedy Cactus Flower, which won her the Oscar for Best Supporting Actress. But despite her auspicious start in movies, her follow-up films, There's a Girl in My Soup with Peter Sellers and Dollars, co-starring Warren Beatty, were box office disappointments. Butterflies Are Free turned out to be a hit, and it gave Hawn the chance to prove more of a dramatic range than she'd been able to showcase in her earlier films. Up next, Dorothy Malone gives an Oscar-winning performance in a 1956 melodrama directed by Douglas Sirk. Next on TCM, written on the wind, then the miracle worker, and later Pollock. TCM hits the canvas tonight. <laughs> 